It's some much welcomed financial support for victims' families from the Uvalde school shooting. The League of United Latin American Citizens, or LULAC, is providing them with more than a half a million dollars to help with unexpected bills. LULAC and local lawmakers also helped families apply for unemployment. Some families have also been given scholarship money so their children can attend Catholic schools in Uvalde. One of those schools is Sacred Heart, where 30 victims of the Robb Elementary School shooting are now enrolled. To find out how the start of the school year is going, we're joined now by Archbishop Gustavo Garcia Siller of San Antonio, Texas. So nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Uh, so we had a reporter there last week on the first day of school when you celebrated mass for the students. I know we're only a week and a half in, but can you tell us how are the new students from Robb Elementary adjusting? Well, uh, the work that was done during the summer uh, in helping parents, children, teachers was very helpful for the, the first day of classes. I didn't know what to expect that day. Um, uh, because people react differently, children and or family members. But it was a joyful day. There are, at this point, there are more than 30 students who have joined the school. As a matter of fact, the school the of, officially has doubled up in number of students as we speak. And so we need to respond to those needs. Sacred Heart Catholic School is attached to the parish, which held 14 of the 22 funerals after the shooting. How is the church continuing to help the students and their families? Well, we continue through the counseling. The counseling, uh, Catholic Charities is helping with that. Also, the, Cat the Catholic School office here from San Antonio. We have trainings prepared during the next few months. Uh, for the teachers, for the students, and for their parents. And, and of course, the parish is all open for help with uh, if it's food, if it's even in some of those cases, if it's not shelter, they need uh, uh, some things in their home. And of course, with, with a tuition, tuition assistant, all of them are receiving tuition assistance. Wonderful to hear. And I know that you personally have been counseling the family since the day of that shooting. Tell me, um, how has that affected you and, and how has that been going? I, I don't think I have, I can call myself recovered from uh, what happened in Uvalde. I believe it will take me a longer time to deal with and I have the help, um, I have the uh, uh, counseling, spiritual counseling, and uh, my brother bishops here in San Antonio, because it's, it, it, was, it was really something, a real experience of loss. So you cannot just replace that loss, uh, painting the school, and having a nice teacher or having a very nice desk, your desk, again. Uh, it will take some time, but we are in the right direction. And we trust in God, we trust in people, and, uh, and we hope uh, things uh, are going to be better as months, Oh, bye. And we are praying for you and the entire Archdiocese of San Antonio, Archbishop Gustavo Garcia Siller. Thank you so much for being with us again. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.